Hello everyone, I'm Nathan with Green Cover and today we're going to go over how to take a proper forage sample. So to take a forage sample, you'll come out to the field, you'll choose where you're going to take the sample from. Now you want the area you take it from to be very representative of the entire field. You don't want to pick the best spot, you don't want to pick, pick the worst spot. You want to pick a good representative area to sample from. Next, you're going to need some sort of measuring square or circle. This is a one yard by one yard square. So when I lay this down in the field, what I'll do is I will cut and take a sample, everything within the square, so then I have a precise area that I know I take the, that I take the forage sample from, which will, allows me to do the math to scale it up to a full acre. So it doesn't have to be one yard by one yard, it can be one foot by one foot, two feet by two feet, you could use a hula hoop and just measure the area. You just need a very specific and defined border to take your sample from. Once you have it, you come out to the field, you pick your spot, and you really just want to drop it down. You want to see where it lands, you don't want to be biased. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clip everything that is rooted down inside of the square. So when I dropped it, maybe a few of the oat plants like laid to the side, we'll pull those in and take the sample. All the plants that are within the square are going to be cut. So I'll simply take a, a garden shears or some sort of um, scissors work, just whatever you have. We're going to cut these plants and put them in a bag and then we'll get to the next step. All right, so we're back inside. We've got our forage samples and we're ready to take a, to take a weight measurement. So we'll walk you through it. So I've got my scale here. Currently I have a tub sitting on the scale to hold the sample and I've got an empty bag. So this is the same bag that I put the forage sample in out in the field. So I'm gonna hit zero to zero this out. That way we're not counting for the tub or the bag. So we're gonna grab our forage sample here. So this is the, uh, the loaded sample um, that we took from, from the field. So let it weigh up here. So this sample, which remember, this was a one yard by one yard square. So one yard by one yard, so one square yard, and it's weighing 2.6 pounds. So then the math to convert this to an acre, if you're curious about what sort of biomass you have out in the field, would be there's 4,840 square yards per acre. So we simply take that 4,840 number, times our pounds, and that's how many pounds of, of forage we have out in the field in its current wet state. Now, if we then we took that total number and divided it by 2,000, you can convert it to tons. It just so happens that this math would work out to be about six tons, a little more than six tons. Now, that's the wet weight or the as-fed weight. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you take this sample and you send it to a forage lab and they'll do their analysis on it They'll, they'll dry it down, give you a dry weight, but then also give you all the nutrient values. How much nitrogen, how much carbon, how much phosphorus, all those good numbers in the sample. So we'll package it up, we'll ship it out, or, or maybe drop it off if you're local to a lab, and you'll get your whole analysis done on your forage.